Hello techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to rename a file which is available in the FTP server by using rename FTP file action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn about how to delete the FTP file from the FTP server by using delete FTP file action. Before that, let me delete this action from the workspace that is rename FTP file. Now, I will show you a small use case over here. Now, if you see in my project one, I'm having lot of files over here. Here, I'm having log details dot log files that what we have. I need to delete this log file from the particular subdirectory that is project one. How can I go ahead and do that? First, I'm going to use change working directory action to change the working directory because of the default one is the e colon FTP path, right? Now I'm going to put it as project one and then I'm going to click on save. Now my current working directory is project one, right? We are in the same FTP directory that is project one. Now I want to delete the file log deletes dot log file. Let me go ahead. Let me delete that. So how can we go ahead and we can delete that by using delete FTP file action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after change working directory. Now, if you see the parameters over here, I'm having a single parameter that is files to delete. Which file I need to delete? I have taken log details dot log or the name of the file is log details dot log file, right? And if you see the FTP connection over here, the the same FTP connection which we have used to connect for the FTP server 192.168.1.6 by using open FTP connection which we have produced the flow variable as FTP connection. All right. Now let me click on save. While deleting the FTP file also, we required the specific user which we are going to connect to the FTP server. That user required write permissions to delete the file okay the user required specific permission like write permissions to delete the file also from the particular ftp server all right now let me show you that my particular user that is ftp hyphen user having read and write permissions so that he can go ahead and he can delete the files from the particular directory or from the ftp server all right if you observe once again in my project one working directory that I'm having log details dot log file, which I'm going to delete by using my flow. All right, let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and the flow has been executed successfully. I mean to say the file has been deleted successfully from the FTP server. All right, let me show you that you can see let's refresh the directory working directory now you can see you don't find log details dot log file in the particular working directory that is project one all right i hope you understand how to work with delete ftp file action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power admin tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.